Hi everyone, Miss Kay back here. Today I'm going to explain one of the items that you found in your distance learning packets, which is the bingo boards. So you should have four of them for four weeks out at this point. It looks a little bit like this. Yours is a little bit different, modified with a few things on top labels and things like that. But essentially, it's this board. And what it is, is basically just an extension to the packets that you have weekly. So every week you will be doing your distance learning packet. And then you will also be completing this extension bingo board. So if you take a look, you'll see that the squares are two different colors. So we have the white squares and we have the orange squares. The orange squares are the required ones and then the white squares are optional. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to do the required squares and then you'll also want to try and get a row somewhere to get a traditional bingo. So for example, this first week, you should have your child count backwards from 20. They should read their sight words to you. They should practice counting to 100. They should draw a picture using 2D shapes and then they should write a letter to someone and either send them a picture, send it with a stamp, something like that, whatever makes sense to you. Um, so these ones you'll complete for sure. And then after that, you can choose where you wanna get a bingo because the other squares are optional. So you might go up and down, you might think this row looks fun. Maybe since you already did these two required ones, you wanna go on that row. But really you can do as many as you want. So you might wanna just do your required ones in one row or if you're looking for something extra, you can do the entire board. It does not matter, it's totally up to you. At the end of the week, Friday if you're able to, you will sign the bottom, and then you can send a picture via email or Seesaw, whatever works best for you. You can send a picture of your board to your student's teacher so we can see what you've done. So when you're done, it might look something like this. I'm just gonna mark mine off quick. But you can X them off, you can stamp them, you can color them in, whatever you want to do. And then it might look something like this. I did my required squares, I got one row for the bingo, I signed the bottom, and now I'm going to send it to my teacher. If anybody has any questions about this, please let us know. Thanks. 